All right, people, welcome back. More vitamin Y, so today is Wednesday, and that means that we are using Ubelic Seas. Yes, another one of those decks uh, that might be taking a temporary hiatus off of vitamin Y just because of how much setup it required. I said, this deck has some combos. It has some pretty nice plays, but it just requires a little bit too much setup. Uh, it requires you need to send a couple more monsters than I would usually need to send and just, you know, the regular Ubel, and, you know, unless those monsters are in the graveyard and I'm set up and ready to go, which I'm not doing much. So, of course, I still gotta run Mr. Tomato, and my disdain for Mr. Tomato is very high. I cannot stand this fucker, and yet I, I had to play it, and it really sucks. I don't want to play it. It's slow, it's only when it's destroyed by battle, uh, you know, the destruction is high. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he just t throws a dark hole at Regeki at me right now, just because I have a set monster, you know? Like, the threat of a set monster in comparison to what it, Mystic Tomato is, it, it, it's just, you know, we're going up against DDDs. DDD. So, uh, I, usually I would run, I would want to run two uh, level eaters in this deck, but that's just another monster I have to send, so I ended up cutting it down to one. I think clearly see, you kind of get the gist of the idea of the deck, uh, you know, with uh, Starlight, Star Bright, and uh, Galaxy Queen's Light. I might, the idea is to go ahead and have monsters with zero attack or zero defense, make it the same level as Ubel, and you Xe, Ubel Xe's. So, like I said, this one's a little bit different than Yuge, but still, you know, a fairly good deck. So he's going to go ahead and summon his DDD guy. When his card is not summoned, he can activate one of the effects. He can go ahead and either target one DDD card you control with your hand, or add one dark contract from your deck to your hand, which I'm assuming he's going to do the latter. So, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, for this week, we're going to go ahead and use these decks, especially for all the new people who are joining the channel. They can go ahead and see. I would love your guys' opinion, too, even though you're new. You know, uh, you know. You subscribe to UO Mastery, here's the UBEL related content, so if you guys want to watch, then hey, more power to you, and go ahead and voice your opinion, don't be like, yeah, you know, keep this deck on, or no, this deck isn't like, working as well, you know, maybe go ahead and think about removing it or changing it, so like I said, this week we're going to have our normal lineup, and then next week we're going to try something new, so not only is it new for the new people, but it's also new for uh, the previous people as well, so uh, not bad, not bad. So you can send one DDD card or contract from his... Uh, his hand to the graveyard, then target one face of card in the field and destroy that target. Ooh, that, that's that's bad. So as soon as I even try to counter what he's about to do right now, I'm just gonna get wrapped. So that's good to know. He's gonna go ahead and go into Ooh, okay. Okay. This card in your position is destroyed by value your opponent's card pack, you can target one DD after. So he could just feed it as many times as he wants. See, during your main phase, you can... What happened to those monsters? I'm so confused. I don't know how DDDs work. During your main phase, you can fuse summon one fiend time monster using monsters. And if it was done this way. And if you were to summon this way, you can only use this effect. Uh, you, can only, you can only fuse once per turn. It says clearly right here that you can only use this effect of... King Swamp once per turn. You, you want to stop? You want to stop? And fix your mistake? Or are you just fucking sitting here playing with yourself? Like, you, you can't even go into this arc. You already fusion summoned. <sighs> that, that's the end for you. You, you I mean, you, you, what your opponent says to you is just a suggestion. You know, nothing's stopping you. You can only fuse one slime. You can only use the effect of a swamp once per turn. How do you how do you fuse some two monsters when you can only do it once per turn? Then why do you have then why do you, then why do you have two fusions? Huh? Huh? Why do you have two fusions? Huh, sir? It wasn't even on the field. I'm confused. I'm so confused. During your main phase, you computer summon. How do you? How does? How did you use slime if it never hit the field? 
What is Kelp? Kepler has nothing to do with this. Also, one Kepler is in your extra deck because he was on the field. During main phase, you can fuse summon this card using No. Swirl Slime? Swirl Slime has to be on field to use effect. Yes. During your main phase, you can use some of ones. What? Where does it say you can use? You can use it in your hand. Nowhere. You know what? I've sit here and wasted fucking five minutes of vitamin Y arguing with a guy who doesn't even know how to use the DDD deck, and I don't even know how to use the DDD deck. I'm just going off of fucking reading the fucking cards. Like what? All of a sudden, you could. This has no way on there that this is a hand effect or anything. You just all of a sudden just plopped a fucking another fan. And you and it has to, it clearly it says during your main phase, so when you summon it, you can go ahead and fuse. But you didn't normal summon it, you've already used your normal summon for the turn. Like damn. Man, it's fucking cheating already. Like I'm I'm not I don't want it. I don't want it. And I opened up really well too. That was a pretty good hand. Oh well. Now I'm gonna start drawing bad. Yep, here we go. I already drawing terrible. I already drawing terrible. Sucks. I got a really good hand. You know, then I'll get with Ultra Nightmare at 1, Level Eater at 1, and Yubel at 1. Right, so now I gotta figure out a way to get Yubel out of my hand. Hopefully I get Dark Greffer, because if I don't get Dark Greffer... And of course, that's another thing that sucks about Mystic Tomato, is I can't summon Dark Greffer off of Mystic Tomato. Sucks. I would love to, but... So right now, unless I go ahead and uh, figure out a way to uh, get a Dark Greffer, I can't, I can't do Yubel. Reveal! I swear to fucking God. Alright, I'm gonna allow you to correct your mistake. But seriously. Because I knew a person in real life who fucking did that shit. They were like, probably do all the tea, draw, and then he looked at him and then he's like, oh, I'll take this one and put it back. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I do Polo Ali. I'm like, what's the first word on Polo Ali before they, uh, you know, they eroded the. T oh. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Exodia. No, thank you. No, thank you. Would like to duel, not sit here and watch you play with yourself. No, thank you. No, thank you. I would actually like to duel, not sit here and watch you just draw into Exodia. I, this is DM for you people. This is DM at its finest. It's like I come here every day to fucking duel, and this is what I fucking face. Just fucking scrubs, noobs, and sacky people, and trash. You know, that's one deck you'll never see in the league, someone using Exodia. Definitely not. Definitely not. And I opened up, like, ass, too. This card's that one, this card's that one. Well, at least I can go ahead and get a Dark Graffer. At least I got Rotos, so... This one's not bad. It's not bad. I at least like to make an XC monster in this episode of I'm and Y. Using Ubel Xyz, of course. I said it takes some setup. But use Odd Eyes Pendulum, so I'm assuming you're using Pendulum Magicians. In which case, I'm just gonna get my butt raped, so. You wanna go ahead and search your field spell before you resolve the terraforming? Ugh, the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. How'd I know? How'd I know? Ugh. Well, we already know that this deck is really good. I mean, Odd Eyes Pendulum. It was obvious that he was going to be using this deck. Obvious. I was thinking that when I accepted the duel, but, you know, I'm not going to be picky. I'm, I'm not going to judge him by his name. I guess I should have, but I was like thinking, I was like, he's probably just going to be using this deck. How did you get that? How did, how did you get that magician? I swear to God. Listed. Listed. You can't get that magician. Like, wow. 
so fucking bad. I mean, you, you're you already not impressing me with your plays, because I've seen you no know, magicians do way better than that first turn. Hello? I might have to just delete this video and re-record. We're already 10 minutes in, and I have done absolutely nothing but do it. No, yeah, 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 I did, I did, did, listed, as in the name of the card. You can't get that magician. You cannot get him. That card was, that card is not listed on Ruin. You can get odd eyes. You don't fucking slap the fucking effect at me. I read the card. You're the one who's doing it wrong. That's like that's like a fucking prisma prisma effect. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and reveal um uh uh absolute zero. I'm gonna send any water monster. Like no. <laughs> That, that is not a listed name. Oh my god. Like, you can either fix it right now, or I could just quit. You know, I'm gonna keep this video, because clearly you can see what I do with every fucking day. Like, oh my god. <laughs> That's not listed. Alright, I'm done. Alright, alright, I'm done. Alright, I'm done. You're back. You're back. You are bad. That's clearly not listed. Clearly not listed. All right, I'm done. You are bad. You are bad. You are bad. You go, 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 go read, go read a rule book. Look up some rulings. So done. Wow. Wow, people, you didn't know that you could do that? You didn't know that if it's not listed, you could just go ahead and do that. Shit. You could get odd eyes, but no, you cannot just get any fucking... You know how fucking busted that would be? You know how busted that would be? Fucking fusion conscription. Oh, any spell cash. I can get to add any spell cash. You literally just turn fucking fusion conscription into a fucking Rhoda S card for any, anyone, anyone, any, any archetype. As long as it just has some vague ass fucking listing. Like, no, it's not like that. It's not. I'm like, ugh. Ugh. Whew. People, 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 people. You think it, what? It's, I know, some of you guys, you, you guys like when I get angry, but look what I have to deal with. It's like, damn, like, it can't. No, no, it's not. You can't do this to me. You can't. I'll go ahead and send you Bell and the level eater, and now when you kill my Armageddon Knight, my message in the bottle will be active. So, that is totally good. Wish I got some revival, like Call or Oasis or something like that, but. Let me reverse. Good, all good. Ew, alright. Definitely looks like I'm going against some stun. Oh, it's your sender. I was say, it looks like I'm definitely going against some kind of stun. Like, oh, it's your sender. I don't even want to duel against Descendu. I really don't. <sighs> so tired. <laughs> so tired of this game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Because I gotta just deal with this shit. Like, look what I have to fucking deal with. So as soon as he flips up some goddamn background on me, I'm gonna quit, so. I said, I don't even know why I'm doing this duel. Hmm. So now I gotta send, I definitely gotta send, uh, actually I could just go discard the special. Special summon the Rock Graffer, wipe him. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and send the Phantom of Chaos. Discard special, XC, Exiton. I have one, two, three, 
One, two, three, but yeah, you can wipe them. Then I decided to go with the Ascenders again, summoning, bouncing me, bouncing me, bouncing me, bouncing me. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. Like I said, it's. It's all main phase one, of course. So you can just go ahead and fill up that lose one turn. So then just attempt to axe on him. Well, I, I don't expect to win this duel. I'm using fucking tier 69 Ubel deck. And this is probably one of the weaker Ubel decks in the lineup just because it takes a little while to set up. In comparison to, you know, the other decks in the lineup. So tier, not even 69, just 70. So, like I said, I exited, I'm still going to lose. He's going to summon, 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 bounce, tack, and beat my ass again, so. Yeah, that's game. That's game. Alright. Like I said. Yeah. No. Just duel your ass. You won, fair and square. You won. This is, can I, I mean, I'm at X-Ton. I'm in XC Monster. Yay. One, one, one. Sam is terrible. Once again, like I said, welcome to my channel, Number Generator. Like, why do I keep drawing Ebel over and over and over again? I run one of each. Of course, I draw them. Maybe I should just run more than one Ebel just on draw it. I'm definitely gonna exit on your ass. Better, better, she's better. <laughs> better. Back from the hospital. She's 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 living and kicking it. Just I hate when I draw you bell. Like I hate when I draw you bell the most, just cause like what am I supposed to do? What is what is Armageddon and I supposed to do? Just sit there and look stupid? He does a pretty good job at that when I can't even send fucking Ebel. Let's go ahead and go next time. You're welcome to Vitamin Y, where all I do is just sit here and Exiton all day. The hands are just wavering. It's like, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. Like, come on. And I draw Ebel over and over and over again, like every other duel, then it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Oh, we're going against Fuffles too? Oh shit. Oh, he's probably going to summon Tiger and, and ultra K the living fuck out of me, but. Oh, thank you. I'm getting Armageddon now, I'm getting Foolish, I'm glad I'm getting some cards to go ahead and send. Also, Foolish, another card at one. Uh, go ahead and getting all these cards to send, it's great. I just really wish I could go ahead and. Drawn to a Dark Greffer. Dark Greffer would be fantastic. I would love a Dark Greffer. I would not ask for anything other than a Dark Greffer right now. Nothing. Nothing. I would, that's all I want. I want a Dark Greffer. All I want for Christmas is to draw a Dark Greffer. We got Triple Dark Greffer and Triple Rota, so, you know, six out of our 31 cards. But the problem is they're both at three, so. I still got Ultimate Nightmare in my deck, so there's a pretty good chance I'm still going to draw that. Wow. Sun, from your hand to your side of the field. This is a, a Fiend-type monster, so I'm assuming he's just going to go ahead and Dark Tree's two cards in his hand. That's, that's power. That's power. Fiend? And a Fairy? Hmm. Okay. 
It's an interesting way. So, you know, see the theme type fusion monster, especially when I'm watching it after that. So, I'm going to take a copy of this. So, I'm going to take a turn. So, then I take half my original attack, which is 950. You target one phase and one destroy. And if you do inflict damage, you go to the time. No, this, this card cannot attack you. Don't attack me at this side. Is it original attack? I thought it was half. Nope, oh, it, it, it's a traditional attack. I misread. I misread. Yep, original attack. I just misread. I read what I wanted to read. Alright, so. Interesting play. I must say. I mean, I, I, I now I said I must say I can come back. I know, that creating a fluffle. Like, say, what? I can cast Stellum. Um, it's your attack, 24. Like I said, I just. This duel's not gonna go as vivid, you know, as good as it would usually go. I guess I can go ahead and fuse. I don't have an 8 in here. That was really surprising. I should definitely have an 8 in here. I got you for no fucking reason. I mean, I, can I even go into you guys? Like, I need to update this fucking extra deck, because I don't even know how the fuck I would go into you guys. Like, maybe, maybe probably the way I had the deck before, then I changed it, and then I just haven't added the extra deck like usual, because I forget. Yeah, there should be a level 8. There should be like a hot red in here. I can't even go into these 7s like that, so I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm glad I went ahead and sent Phantom of Chaos. At least Phantom of Chaos is in the graveyard. So, I'm just going to go ahead and go into a Castell. Put you back. So now you're just top decking. Not like you weren't top decking before, though. You just. <laughs> you're just like, bam! Dark Fusion? Cause you, it seems like you would have done it a long time ago. I said, these cards, I really can't do much with them unless I get a Dark Graffer. It's not a Dark Graffer. Does this man only take two, 200 instead of 2,000? I, I can't I can't stand the freedom on DM. I really can. That you get to just choose what you want to do. It's crazy. God, I wish I had Dark Graffer. If I win this duel, then that's still just ridiculous. Cause I shouldn't be winning this duel. So there's no more something in your hand. You can add one edge of savers or one fluffle monster. Ooh, power. Get up yet. I said, if I draw Dark Graffer, I can't do nothing with none of these cards right now until I draw Dark Graffer. If I draw Dark Graffer, I could go to town, man. I could, I could, I could combo it up. You guys are going to see some nice e well, see some combo coming. But before that, I'm just going to sit here and twiddle my thumbs and be like, damn, man. I wish I had Dark Graffer. 29 cards left. I still got Triple Rotor and Triple Dark Graffer. So we still got things. Okay. All right. And once again, I mean, it's, it's tomato. You, you can't summon frickin', you can't summon frickin' Dark Graffer. <laughs> I would love to summon Dark Graffer. Of course, I remember when you bell, so I can't even summon the new bell, another new bell for my uh, deck with Mr. Tomato. I only run one, so. Yep. So one set card, one owl in his hand. This card's not going to do much. Not going to do much at all. I mean, what is Call the Haunted going to do? Nothing. <laughs> Got no one to Call the Haunted. Absolutely. See what I didn't I say it in the beginning? I was like, he's gonna dark hole the regeki my mystic to me. I see the summon it. Yep. There we go. Mm hmm. Okay. 
So he, he's, he's not getting the best of cards either, but, you know, I'm not getting any plays. I got literally, I got, my entire hand is dead. Like, depending on what I'm drawing, this fucking call is haunted. I, I got nothing, so. So you could pay 8,000, I mean 8,000, 500 life points, why is it 8,000, 500 life points to go ahead and infuse. So I'm one fight for a future monster from your extra deck using monsters from your f hand or your side of the trade materials. You can only use, you can only use one effect of out per turn only once a turn. Well, it's a good thing you don't have poly. This card can attack the number of times each battle fades up to number of fusions used to fusion summon it. Okay. I'm thinking about summoning Castell. Nah, I'm summoning Tomato. Decked in a little bit. We'll lose a couple of white points, but that's fine. I said maybe maybe I'll get lucky and draw Dark Graffer so I can attack twice. Wow, it's gonna jump up <laughs> uh, Gun duck again. I was actually gonna draw our graffer. That's crazy. I said, look at all these great cards I would take. I would take any of these cards, actually, except for you. Actually, I'll take you to no, because I'm out of freaking rank fours. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of rank four. Oh wait, no, I, I have a, a king of the feral land. So pretty much, I'll take any card, any card, draw. No, no, I I, for, I miscalculated. I totally miscalculated about fucking reverse. Usually, I would take limit reverse. Wow, did you see all them fucking cards that I could have got and? I hate Dion. <laughs> Uh, that's all three Mystic Tomatoes. So I guess I'll go ahead and summon Armageddon Knight. Send Armageddon Knight. Because I don't want to draw Armageddon Knight. Look at all these beautiful cards that I would love to draw. I'll go ahead and take another 600. I could have drew an Armageddon 9. I could have drew a Rhoda, a Dark Graffer, made Nick C. Man, I could have... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, these guys are just chatting it up. <laughs> sitting here chatting it up. I'm sitting here with the snuggles. I can't use Message in the Bottle right now. Wow. I don't think I have any other variation of levels. I got one, I got four. No. <sighs> oh, damn it! Why? I all I need to do is just draw level four. I could have fucking made Nick C or something. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Dion is just fucking you today. Triple Rota, Triple Dark Greffer, none of it, none of it. 22 cards left in my deck, none of it. Make me draw you bell, and then literally, like I said, drawing you bell is the worst thing you could fucking do. And look, I'm just stuck here, fucking just sitting here looking stupid. Just sitting here looking fucking stupid. I can't do shit. Can't play Messenger in the Bottle. This card's fucking useless. I can't fucking, that card's useless. If I don't have fucking you bell in the graveyard, I can't do shit. If I had you bell in the graveyard, if I lose, because I, watch, I'm a fucking, he's gonna draw into a monster, be able to kill me, because I can use a limit verse, but the only thing I can get to block me is fucking, is fucking stupid shit, so, I'll go ahead and just take fucking 4,000 life points, 4,000 motherfucking life points, please, please let me draw something, I'm done, I'm done, I quit, I'm done, I'm done, Fuck DN. Wow. Thank you.
Thank you, fucking DM, for giving me absolute nothing. No. No. Oh, yeah, I would have lost. Wow. Of course. Fucking just useless. Ass. Fucking shit. No dark refer. Always does. Always fucking does. That's what I'm saying. Three Rada. Three Rada. Three Dark Greffer. Get nothing. Where, where was it? Where was it? There's Rada. Three Rada. Three Dark Greffers. Get nothing. 18 cards left in that. 18 cards. 18 cards left. S still nothing. That's crazy. Yep. Ridiculous. It happens. It, this is what I'm saying. So there you go, people. Here's you, Bucksies. I didn't get to do shit. Half an hour. I wasted my goddamn time. Just, oh my god. All I needed was a dark graffer. All I needed was a dark graffer. That's all I fucking needed. That's fucking crazy. That's all I needed. All I fucking needed. I would took this. I would took this. I would took this. I would took this. I would. All right, done. So as you can clearly see, my luck, luck is just terrible. Yeah. If you're new to my channel and, 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 and this is your first time, hi, I'm Ewan Mastery. I have terrible luck. Like my luck is garbage when it comes to you. Actually, my luck is terrible in general. Like in my entire life, my luck is just terrible. And uh, I'm a very skilled duelist. I would say, you know, I know the game. I'm a very skilled duelist. But, you know, luck, my luck, my terrible luck just holds me back. You know, whether it be in real life or on here. And I'm just trying to entertain you guys for fun. I... <sighs> so, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and put my mouth on the barrel of a gun and blow my dad and brains out. Because I can't fucking do anything right with this damn deck. So, like I said, this is one of the decks that's going to be definitely. Cause, what was that? What was that? You would think that with three Rota and three Dark Graffers, I would eventually draw into one of them and, you know, be able to... No. 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 Just do nothing and get my ass beat. Like, no. Thanks. 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 Thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you. I, I even decked in with Mystic Tomato. All I need to do is just draw. I could have summoned Exceed into King of the Feral Lamp. Got a Mask Minion. Tacked over him. Stayed in the duel. I probably could have won that duel. All I need to do is just draw the right cards and... Nope. 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 <sighs> It's not like, it, it wasn't even a troll, like, it was the next turn. I would have literally had, like, five more turns of just straight nothing, too, so. Well, that's it. So, I apologize. I apologize for this video. I apologize that, you know, dealing with scrubs, dealing with noobs, and dealing with terrible DM. Where, I draw, I run one of each belt, draw that immediately, draw that constantly, but Rota, Gargraffer? Nah. Nah. I said, the duels that, are, of course, are going to be shitty, I'll just open up well, and the duels that are going to be... A decent duel. I open up shit. Like, 33 minutes of just nothing. I apologize. So, I just wanted to go ahead and show you the new people here. There's you, Bucksies. You see, you see it? You see, the, you see it. You see it. But, it's just not there, is it? It's not, you know. Just isn't. You know, sucks I drew you bell. If I didn't draw you bell, that duel would have went. That probably would have went my way. I probably would have won. But, I drew you bell. And, draw you bell, you might as well kill yourself. So, uh, yeah. So, tomorrow, see you guys with Yang Zingy Bell, or Cosmic Yu Bell, as I call it. See you guys tomorrow with that. And, like I said, I made that one more Yu Bell based, so hopefully we can uh, do some plays with that. Hopefully that'll be good. Uh, and then after that, Supervise Yu Bell, which hopefully goes well. That's a combo based spec as well. I said, it's interesting, because yesterday, Labrador Yu Bell went so well, so I guess I just had it coming that, you know, Yu Bell C is going to be crap. So, anyway, I got other things to record, so. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with things in email. Alright people, thanks for watching.